I've just had a lovely walk across the cliff tops, across what used to be an old railway line. Now I'm going to head down to the beach and look for some fossils. Let's see what we get today. down at the beach now, so let's have a look around. Well, there's part of the big ammonite. Probably just gonna be a partial one. Yeah. That would have been huge. It's called a phylloceros ammonite. The nodule would be much bigger probably if it was complete. Quite often just the outer, very outer shell is preserved. Looks like some ammonites next to it as well. Okay, so you can see the edge of an ammonite. Quite a few more broken through at different angles. So this is one that's definitely going to be worth breaking open. I think that's going to be full of ammonites. We've got high hopes for that one. And also, just next to it, apart from this slab of shells, which is also pretty nice, there's also, just have a look, which has a few more ammonites inside it. So that's also going to be one that's going to be worth breaking open, I think. But we'll see how it goes. I'll have a look around for a bit longer before we start revealing what's inside. Big lump of fossilized wood. The entire rock is filled with it. But interestingly, preserved next to the wood, there's a little bit of a fossil squid. And also a few ammonites, a few shells as well. They've all been preserved around the wood. It's quite interesting when you see assemblages of fossils like that but also if you take a look at the cliff here you can see quite a lot has fallen out so it just goes to show how important it is to not stand near the cliffs because rock does regularly fall out it's very easy to get carried away standing under the cliff looking for fossils but you've always got to be mindful of the dangers around you. Just spotted a nice ammonite showing in the rock pool down there. You can see the golden edge of it. Let's go pick it up. Oh wow, that's a lovely one. Very nice. So that's an elegant tisserus. Ammonite, lovely and golden.
Well, this one looks like it has quite a few ammonites inside it. See quite a few on the edge, maybe a bit of a bigger one. Let's go pick this up. That's pretty cool. It's not complete, but there's a nice big one on the edge. Looks like quite a few more inside it. Give it a little bit of a wash off, just to have a look inside. Okay, yeah, there's loads of little ones inside. Looks like a few different species as well. This is probably one I'll take home and use the tools to take all the rock away from. It doesn't look like it would split open or at least break open to reveal the fossils very easily with just the hammer alone. This is one of the belemnite fossils, one of the creatures that was a bit like a fossil squid. That's the belemnite guard, big grey piece, a fragma cone inside, and coming out of the back. It's quite a big one. It's not usual to have the big triangular fragma cone coming out either. So that one looks really nice. This is some fossilised wood, which is supposed to be from a type of tree similar to a monkey puzzle, and it's called jet. It's made into jewellery in Whitby. So you might have heard of Whitby jet before. It's actually from a fossil tree. I'm going to remove some of the slate away from it and chip a bit up and see if it's any good quality. Looking like it might be alright so far, it's running further back into the rock. I'll keep chipping it away and see how it goes. I've separated the main slab, and left it at the bottom and taken off the top of the actual jet in. Runs from there all the way through and finishes right at the back just in there. Looks like quite a nice big plank of it. I'm just going to take the rock away now from the top. The jet was pretty difficult to extract but we got a few relatively nice pieces that we can polish up. Didn't expect it to have two inside. That one's broken off. But we've got the piece to glue straight back on. And there's a perfect one sat underneath there. That should be a good piece when that's prepared. 
Here is the pile of ammonites that we've collected so far. I'm just going to break a few of them open and hopefully reveal something pretty interesting. Big cloud of smoke from where a load of rock just fell down. Okay, that multi-block that we found earlier, I've just given it a single tap with the hammer and a big crack has gone all the way around it. So I'm not sure what's inside yet, but let's open it up and have a little look. Whoa. That is filled with ammonites. That's brilliant. Little one there just to glue back on. I'm very pleased with that. Hi. There's a huge ammonite in a rock pool. Quite a few nice fossils there, a lot of ammonites and the lovely little ammonite multi-block. When I get home, I'm going to show a little fish that we found that had fallen out of the cliffs just near to here. Here's a look at the fossil fish that I mentioned. It's a little thin piece of slate. I've trimmed it down and backed it to make it extra stable. Here it is. So this had fallen out of the cliff. It wasn't as perfect as you can see here. It still had little bits of rock stuck all over it, but we've removed that rock now. And here it is. One of the tiny scales. It's even got the head preserved and one of its fins. So you can imagine how excited we were to find that. If anyone's interested, I'll show some more fossils out of our collection in future videos. Thank you for watching.